Closing about three and a half minutes away. Markets on track to finish the first day of the trading week in the green at the moment. Microsoft, Dow component, NASDAQ, right? Forecast cut last week shocked investors. Mr. Softy blaming the strong dollar, which has jumped 7% year to date. But today's countdown closer says just because Microsoft is worrying about the greenback doesn't mean you actually cannot make money on a surge in greenback. Joining me now, the Toffee Vice Chairman, Tom Leiden. Tom, hey, great, how are you, Liz? I, great to see you. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, okay, uh, you're not worried about Microsoft and its strong dollar problem. You're not worried about multinationals and their strong dollar problem because you found a way for our viewer investors to make money, at least you say. What is that? Well, the thing is, with ETFs, Liz, you know that you can invest in almost anything, and currencies are also an asset class. Uh, we've seen during times of uncertainty that most investors tend to move towards those currencies that they have more confidence in, and the dollar's right up there on the top of the list. A lot of people have moved money into cash or short duration in a way to maybe overcome some of these inflationary concerns when the, with the CPI over 8%. You can actually invest in the dollar if we continue to see times of volatility or times of uncertainty through this Invesco dollar denominated ETF, ticker symbol UUP. Uh, it's, it's been up 6.5% so far this year, over 13% in the last year. And it's, way to, it's a great way to diversify your portfolio when you're concerned about inflation, concerned about safety. Yeah, so yeah, there we are, finally, thank you. We're looking at a three-month chart of UUP, and this is, it enables people to capture a rising dollar. I cannot believe it only takes a dollar oh six now to buy a euro. I mean, I was there about a year and a half ago in France, and it was something like a buck 19. So clearly, this has been an issue. You also have some other names that you like. You think that there's an opportunity in ARK Innovation, of course, the Kathy Wood uh, momentum play type of sexy stocks that were very sexy about a year and a half ago. Why do you believe in this now as it has pared back many of its gains? Well, it, it's pared back a lot, and there are a lot of people that do still believe in it. it it's actually had net purchases year to date in an area where people are thinking, boy, you know, at one point in time, this is going to hit a bottom. And if it's a long-term outlook and innovation is not going to go away, we know that. In addition, there's also China, China Internet. It's been a lot of problems over in China. There are a lot of regulatory concerns. But the Crane Shares Internet ETF, KWeb, has also been seeing net buyers year to date. That's up over 30% in the last 30 days. Yeah. So if you've got some money on the sidelines and you've got a longer-term outlook, Here's some things to think about. Yeah, and I, I agree with that. And I, Kathy Wood has always said, if you you got to have a five-year time horizon at least if you want to be an ARC, because it's not going to be a quick turnaround. She's really taking the long the long haul picture there. Good to see you, Tom. Tom Leiden, our good friend here at the Claimant Countdown. All right, here comes the closing bell. The Dow Jones Industrials just a second ago almost dipped below the red line there, but we are up about 35 points. S&P gains 15, the Nasdaq up 58. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you tomorrow.